day is Saturday, November the 4th. I didn't do an intro this morning because it was right at shooting light when I got here. I didn't want to make a lot of noise. And I didn't do an in the truck because I just was trying to get over here right at crack of dawn to get in the stand. I don't like to come in with flashlights flashing everywhere. So I dropped Rodney off at the other place again and he has finally shot the buck that we had on camera for the last few weeks uh, that came in there yesterday it is 9 30 he just texted me and said he shot him ordinarily i would sit here until 11 but this is the first racked buck rodney's ever shot he only just shot his first deer last year and it was a cow horn uh, because he was shooting at the deer beside him and, and missed and hit the cow horn. But, so I'm going to get down now. Again, it's 9.30. Again, another bluebird day. Um, we knew that things were starting to heat up because I filmed a buck tending a doe yesterday. I'll show a little bit of that footage right now. So, we came back this morning thinking that um, they were going to be probably finding hot does here and there and running them all night. Uh, Rodney can't hunt this evening and my truck is down so whether or not I'll get to come back is still up in the air. I'll have to get a ride or get somebody to drop me off. I've been sitting here all morning with no action and looking for not necessarily a beater truck but sort of a like something Tiff can use to drive on the beach and something that will just be sort of a backup truck and haul the trash to the dump. If anything happens to my truck, I'll have a spare there in the yard. So I've been sitting here shopping for trucks all morning and with nothing going on. And uh, Rodney just got his first rack bug ever. Uh, that is just terrific. Uh, he's, Rodney took a few days off to hunt and he wasn't going to be able to hunt this evening. Super stoked that he got this deer, especially the one he was after.
Oh, would you would you want to shoot him too? I just lost my lens cap down inside the four wheeler. I just got a picture from one of these cameras. I don't know if it's this one or the other one, but. Parking side, I think the card's full on this one. I changed it the other day. I put a new card in it. It says 1%. Really? I don't know if it's 1% left or 1% used. Well, I put a new card in it. We were getting pictures yesterday. For a guy who just became a man and shot his first real deer, <laughs> it sure does take you a long time to get out of the deer stand. Well. I've been sitting there watching him. He didn't go nowhere, so. I'm rushing out. I mean, normally. You see where the bullet went in right over there? Yeah. Yeah, so you're sure this is the deer you shot now? 100%. I shot that one. Okay. The one I was aiming at, the one I shot at. Flashback right here <laughs> at this part of the video. When I seen he had one rack like this and one rack like a web thing, that he was bigger than that. I did not shoot here. I did not shoot here. I did not shoot you. I did not shoot you. Might have to drag him by the leg. He ain't got enough to hang on to, Rodney. <laughs> that ain't right, man. <laughs> that ain't right. You gotta drag him like a doe, Rodney. <laughs> There's a nice scrape right here. Another one right here. A little bit older. Will lost his lens cap. He's trying to find it. They're getting old and a little stiff. And they're getting more aggravating. To... About like the owner, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> you need to get that top one first or not? Nah, I got to line this up. There it goes. Lined up now. And it should pop me in. Out of there somehow. See, it's not flopping. You ain't gonna get him on there by yourself anyway. Well, I don't want to get them up there, but I want to drag him over there. Like, I can look good. Pine saw who? Yeah. That was a badly broken leg right there. Should I get about a leg or about a horn? Please, please. About a horn. Maybe you get him in the neck more. Lucky shots all around. Huh? Ready? One, two, three. Uh. Mm. Ooh, smell. Ooh. Oh, did it come out? No. Oh, no it don't. It's probably in this spine up there somewhere. You ever 
Get one back here. Uh, I have, I mean, a couple times, uh, Johnny has a couple times. He's probably the nicest one we've killed out here, but he's not the nicest one we've seen out here. That one me and Tracy saw a couple days before Thanksgiving and I think it was 2015 was probably the, he's probably one of the top five biggest deer I've ever seen while I was here. All this was weeds. We could get in the stand without deer seeing us and the, and the feeder was down there and it, the, feeder, the stand was facing that way and the weeds were so high you could get in the deer stand without the deer seeing you. So once you got up off the ground, just go real slow. And you could see this deer's antlers over them weeds. They, the weeds were over my hood. I feel like Johnny now. Get him in the neck. Well, the big difference is the deer you shot won't fit on the front rack before we <laughs> back rack. The deer he shoots fit on the front rack. Cut that part out. What? Talking junk about Johnny, you gotta cut that out. Oh no, I didn't leave that right in there. Dude's pretty wide, man. Pull him that way to a little bit. He's... Hey, that way towards the wheel. There you go. Keep going. There you go. I don't want him messed up here. So what now? I don't want him messed up. He's been in that field. You see the cockle burrs on him. Yeah. Can you reach that leg right there? There you go. I don't want him hooked in there to break one of his antlers off or something. Yeah. It's like Texas Chainsaw Master out here, don't it? Case. Yeah, I texted Tracy a picture of it, that deer laying there and told him that Rodney finally became a real man today. Yeah, I'm gonna give him 16 and a half, 17 inches. He's a really good sized deer. I mean, body-wise, too. Oh, man. Hey, look in 
running back if there's any napkins in there. Why you got a boot? I'm gonna take a little bit of your water over there and watch him pull up my hand. Oh, so you'll grab. So you'll pick up a four thousand dollar video camera with blood all over your hands, but you won't touch a twenty dollar steering wheel cover with blood on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get used to the way this thing goes in gear. Okay, what? The way it goes in gear. What, by the bottom piece? Yeah. yeah. It messes me up too because I reach up for it. I do too. Even the Suburban's got it on the column. Man, I'd love to find an old Chevrolet pickup. I'm going to go back to your house and I'm going to video you scanning a deer. Yeah. I'll help you. Video. <laughs> All smiles today, ain't it, Rodney? Oh, yeah. I'm happy now. I got me a big one. <laughs> yeah. Do that one more time. Might be able to use that for the thumbnail. <laughs>